Now a remarkable comeback story. With a little help from humans, rainbow trout, which were nearly wiped out by disease, are running again in large numbers along Colorado's Gunnison River. As Barry Peterson reports, the colorful fish are not only great to eat, they lure tourists and big money to the area. Joel Evans has been fishing the stretch of the Gunnison River in western Colorado for more than 40 years. Like most anglers in these parts, for him, one species of fish is king, the rainbow trout. What's it like to have a rainbow at the end of this line? Oh, well, they're fun. They tend to be more active. They jump more. But in the 1990s, that fight shifted to one between rainbow trout and a parasite that invaded Colorado rivers. It causes whirling disease, an aquatic plague, where young fish are deformed, swim in circles, and die of starvation. What kind of numbers and decrease did you see? A, literally a tenfold decrease. Ever since, Colorado Fish and Wildlife Manager Renzo Del Piccolo has been working to keep the rainbow trout alive through various breeding programs. The rainbow trout is hugely important to this state. How important? Is there a dollar number? Fishing in general, it's estimated over $2 billion to the economy. Scientists got a major break when they discovered a small, isolated group of rainbow trout immune to the disease in this remote part of the Gunnison. Nice work. Biologist Eric Gardunio is cruising these waters where the immune trout were discovered, capturing healthy female fish and using them to breed tens of thousands of offspring that are also immune to the illness. They use this spindly apparatus to send a weak electric current through the water that attracts and then stuns the trout. And then just stop to our netters to be quick with their net and get those fish out of the water as quick as possible. The process depends on touch and time. The touch for getting the eggs out of a female. So usually it'll be about a thousand eggs per female. And the time, less than a minute, to use the male trout to fertilize the eggs. The process of life is going at that point. The fertilized eggs are brought to a nearby hatchery where they are cultivated and raised into healthy rainbow trout, ready to stock rivers all over Colorado. So with a little luck and a lot of science, they'll be telling fish stories here for decades to come. Barry Peterson, CBS News in the Black Canyon of the Gunnison River, Colorado.